Okay, so let's get our next image in. So I'm going to make a new layer. Here's my new layer. This layer is going to be for image 2. So I'll say image 2. Notice once again, I'm not in the main scene 1 timeline. Here's scene 1. Notice all this here on scene 1? All these layers and keyframes and stuff like that. I am inside this movie clip, the slideshow movie clip. So if I double click on it, you can see here I go in and it's got its own timeline. It's got its own layers and we're going to run the slideshow inside this movie clip. And in the slideshow, we're basically going to do motion tweens or classic motion tweens in between with uh, movie clips fading into one another. So for the next image, what I'll do is I'll put a keyframe right here. So I hit F6 on my keyboard or right click, insert keyframe. And notice it goes right above on the new layer. And I'm going to go in and grab my next image. Right. My next image is this one, so I'll drag it out and drop it. Now I need to position it, so I'll select it and change the X and Y to 0. Every, tab over, so I put that to 0 and that to 0, hit enter, and now it's in position. And notice when I select it, it's a bitmap. It needs to be a movie clip, right? So modify, convert to symbol, movie clip, name it. I'm going to name it IMG2. I've already got IMG1, so this is IMG2. And click OK. And now it's a movie clip. Now if I select it, see it says movie clip, not bitmap. And the cool thing about that is that I'll be able to, with a movie clip, I can make it fade in and fade out. And I can also add other, th change other aspects to it and do things like that. So it's, it's a lot better to work with movie clips. So anyway, our first image, and here's the timeline. Our first image lasted at, at 45 seconds. It started fading out. So this one needs to stay on for 50 frames minimum. So what I'll do is um, go from 45. I'm actually going to take this one all the way to, let's see here, from 45, I will go all the way to 100 this time. So at 100, I'll put a keyframe. And I'm going to put another keyframe at 95, right click, right? And I'm going to put a keyframe here. So for this image, I want it to fade in, and then it's going to play. Here, I'll just collapse that for a second. It's going to play, 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 play. And then from here to here, it's going to fade out, right? So here at the end, I can just select this, go to my property window, and go to alpha, and fade it out. Notice it's at zero automatically. There it is. All right, fades out. And that was here, right? So now I just go here, insert, create classic tween. And you see now it fades out. Now on the first area, on the front end of this, I'm going to do the same. So right here, I need it to be faded out, and it's going to fade in to here. So over here, I will select it, and then go to Color Effect. Over in the Property area, Color Effect, Alpha, fade it out to 0, right? It's alpha, 0, and then over here, it's faded in, faded out, right click, create classic tween, and now it fades in. So as one's fading out, as one's fading out, the other one's fading in, and I get a cross dissolve. It's that easy. It's pretty nice. I have complete control over how many frames it stays on the screen. So now if we hit control play, okay, and so then that fades out, and it's time for the next image. Okay, I put in a fourth layer. Let's we'll name it image four. And I've already put in the image here. We scroll over. You'll see that I've got this last image that fades in, right? And then at the end it fades out. Now let's make a swift out of this, a flash movie, control test movie. Control test movie test or control enter on your keyboard, right? And then we play that. That's great. Let's take a look at the whole thing in the browser, though. So, what I want to do is I want to, here's my site, 
Here's my flash file that I'm working in. Here's my flash movie I just published. Here's my HTML page. I want to look at it in HTML in a web browser. So I've got that open already. All I have to do is hit refresh. Refle refreshes the flash movie and there is my um, slideshow. And you can see there it's you can see that it, the slideshow is working and the images are changing, right? There is however one problem and you might not notice it, but it's right there. Notice this one fades into this one, this one cross dissolves into this one, this one cross dissolves into this one, but then this one fades out and then this one just appears really quickly. So it's hard to tell, but I'll show you and also the thing's moving too fast. So let's let's fix that up, shall we? Okay, so in in Flash, first of all, all right, the thing's moving a little too um the thing is moving a little bit too fast, so I need to add some more frames. So what if I move this guy right here from frame 50, let's say 10 more frames, let's say. So what I'm going to do is I'll just highlight a whole row here, right? And I'll hit F5, hit F5 on your keyboard, which is insert frame, F5, 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 F5. And I'll move that until that this guy lines up with 60. So I've just added 10 more frames to right here, right? And then I'm going to go over here and highlight this, all four layers, and I'm going to move this over 10 frames. So hit F5 on your keyboard until it gets all the way to 20. Now notice I added frames here, right? It added frames here and that's no good. So what I'm going to do is I'll highlight that and hit remove frames. Didn't want those, okay? just wanted five more frames on these three actually. So now I can go over here, highlight let's say these two frames so we don't run into that problem again by creating F5. See I didn't want that. I just want to slide all this over to the right. So I'll highlight this and hit F5 on the keyboard. Move those over 10 frames, right? You could just insert frame, right? It's F5. And then last but not least, over here, just click there and I move this over 10 frames. F5. Okay. Now, the problem we're having is this guy starts here, right? Completely 100%, right? But if I fade him in, we'd still have the problem is he fades in, whereas these guys cross dissolve into one another, and then these two cross dissolve into one another right? And these two cross dissolve into one another and then this guy just fades out, right? So what I can do is is I can fade in my first piece right here. So what I'm going to do is I'll go back to frame one, right? And What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy him right here, right? So I'll just copy him, right? Edit, copy, and over here, I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. Insert blank keyframe, an empty keyframe. And all the way at the end, I'll make a keyframe here. Insert blank keyframe, right? So I've got two empty keyframes here. That's important, right? And now, on this keyframe, I'll just edit, paste in place, and it pastes the movie clip in place. We can't see it, but it's underneath there. See it? It got pasted right there. And we didn't we don't see it until here, which is what I wanted. That's why I put the blank keyframe right here. I didn't want it to show up until here. Right? So you see it here? I'll turn this eyeball off momentarily so we can see it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have it fade in. So insert another keyframe right here I will fade this in so I'll select it and alpha 0 I will put a classic tween on it and so then now if I turn the eyeball in you'll see that as this one fades out the other one fades in and now the animation will be perfect. Control enter on your keyboard.
to publish your fast flash movie and you'll see then at the end of the animation there will be a cross dissolve and you'll never notice that it was done with a timeline it'll seem like a perfect loop right and so that's much better and also adding the extra keyframes slow down the animation a little bit which is also much better if you want to see it in your flash in your web browser in your Internet Explorer or your Firefox browser just hit refresh and you'll get your new browser here that looks good